Uh, hey guys, this is my new 1971 International Harvester Scout 2. It has 232 inline straight six, uh, T18 um, Borg Warner transmission with the granny gear and optional power takeoff on the side. And it's an a Dana 20 transfer case and that has a optional power takeoff off of it as well um, and then the final gearing for both front axles is Dana 44's front and rear and they have 456 gears so also if you notice here we have a Clifford four barrel intake which is really nice but they've got it adapted down from a four barrel to a two barrel to a one barrel so that's not the ideal setup but it also has six into two headers as well i'm assuming clifford um but what i'm doing right now is i am trying to time it um the harmonic balancer seems to be bad on this not that it's shaking or anything but uh the outside pulley is moving somewhat independent of the rub vulcanized rubber that's on the inside of it so we have to manually find top dead center which me and Irene just did I, I took all the spark plugs out so that we could actually turn the engine pretty easy and I put a little uh, screwdriver down in the piston hole number one as she turned I felt the piston go up and whenever I started to go back down that's my top dead center now, I look at my rotor button. Can you see the rotor button? Sure can. All right, this rotor button right here is pointing to what will be the firing of the number one cylinder, right? So whatever that correlates to on here, that's gonna be the wire that I run to number one cylinder. But this distributor was slightly off. See how that moves? and it moves independent of the rotor button. What I've done is I've loosened up a bolt over here that allows me to turn it. And now I'm gonna make note of where the rotor button is pointing. It's pointing directly right here. I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna line up this right here now. That will be uh, my number one my number one cylinder. So now while I'm holding that in place, I'll tighten this down. And I'll go ahead and wire them all in place. Now, I'll have to recheck my computer, my, uh, I'll recheck my uh, phone because I can't remember if firing order went counterclockwise or clockwise I think it goes counterclockwise but the firing order of this this is cylinder one two three four five six right well it goes 15 36 24 so that means if this is number one this right here should be number five this right here should be number three this right here is number six number two and number four but I think it actually it might rotate clockwise, but I'll double check that. But that's how you time it. You get it up to top dead center, find where your button is pointing, make sure that's on, uh, that's pointing, lining up directly to a spark plug wire, and that will go to your first number one cylinder. All right. My asshole of a brother, I was going to give him a shout out that uh, you know he told me the right things to do I've timed a vehicle before but it's always been like kind of a by manual I don't really have it so I, so I had to call him and ask him hey how you do that again and, uh, and you know he told me graciously and everything but uh, props a little bit to me I was able to really describe what was going on with the vehicle it was really hard starting really dragging like and a lot of stuff here and there this and that the deal with the harmonic balancer, it's a little bit tricky. But you know what he told me? <laughs> he said, I bet you that rotor button's one tooth off. Well, I got it to fire up and run, it'll run pretty darn good. 
but I'm completely out of adjustment all the way up against the engine and I need it to adjust a little bit more, which means my fucking rotor tooth, rotor gear is one tooth off. So yeah, here's to all the big brothers out there that know a hell of a lot more than you give them credit for. He's in Mississippi and I'm here in Georgia and he knows. But now, I mean, I guess the chance is he's still wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's right. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this over one tooth. I'm gonna sit here and study it. Oh, and by the way, uh, the, the firing order. Wait, it just stopped. Oh no, okay. The firing order does go clockwise on, 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 on your um, distributor. So, you know, before I couldn't quite figure it out. It's one, five, three, six, two, four, clockwise. All right, so I'm gonna move that over one tooth and we'll fire it up and, and it'll be cool. Thanks, Dale. Okay, so the way to move your rotor button, all right, let's get a good look at this right here. We can see that it's probably at the seven o'clock position from where I'm sitting. If this is noon, that's seven o'clock. Now, as I lift up, it's going to twist because that gear, that gear swirls like this, you know, kind of like a worm gear does. But you gotta carefully, I removed the nut, there was a bolt over here, and, and this thing holds it in place. So, um, you carefully, you wanna feel for it. I need to advance it, so it needs to go that way, one tooth. So, as we feel it, There it is. Nope. There we go. There's my one tooth of advancement. I was pointing directly at seven. Now I'm more at eight. Let's make sure and go back the other way. Maybe I went two teeth. I don't think it did though. Yeah. That's where it was. That's where it's gotta be. Ba boom. Now that will mean right about here somewhere is where I'm gonna adjust out, which means I've got a lot of adjustability this way and this way. So, all right, good. Okay guys, so watch this. It never did that before but it's still not quite right. So that bolt on the bottom of the distributor is still a little bit loose. This is how the engine runs. See, oh, isn't that smooth right there? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? See, so right there is where we want it running like a singer sewing machine. I paid 750 bucks for this little scout and it's gonna be awesome. Uh, we're gonna use it as a tractor on the ranch because it's got all the PTO hookups and things like that. And we've got such awkward wonky um, uh, heels and stuff. So before we shut it down completely, one last time, Irene, watch it. We're gonna start it, stop it and start it. All right, we're off. Ah, that means I... Uh-oh. Nah, I just gotta go. Even though it was running really nice and sweet right there. Timing's still a little off. No, I shut it off. Oh. Let's see, we want it to start real nice and easy. There we go. Alright, here we go. That's where we want it. Now we lock it down. But we got it starting like that. Idling nice, ba boom. So all we gotta do is tighten up that distributor.
so it doesn't move. Calypso, come here. Keep out of the way. Come here. really steep. 